Hi, this is Chris Waters with Waters International Realty. Thank you for watching our video blog today. It's going to be very educational and insightful. We're going to be covering short sales. We're going to discuss what the pros, the cons, and whether or not this should be a strategy that you utilize if you're trying to sell your home and you have equity issues. Before beginning, I'd like to direct your attention to the top of our website here where you can search homes for sale. You can also look over to the top right-hand corner and click on the link that says uh, our free home value report and get a rough estimate of what your home might be worth. So the first thing we want to talk about is what is a short sale? So let's say, for example, you bought a home for $150,000 and you got a loan on that home for $125,000. So let's say now you want to sell that home and you find out the property is only worth $100,000. So there's a $25,000 discrepancy there because your loan balance is higher than the market value of the property. So a short sale is when we get the bank to agree to sell the property and release your liability. And some of the cons we'll speak about in a minute, we'll tell you about some of the negatives and where you could potentially be held responsible for some of these um, liabilities that the bank would incur. And we'll get to that in just a minute. So essentially a short sale, we get the bank to agree to sell the home for less than what the loan balance is. And um, you know, one of the first things we'll talk about is what is a, an advantage or a pro to doing a short sale. So the financial impact of a short sale is significantly better than going through the foreclosure process. So if you go and get your home foreclosed on, it could be up to seven years before you could buy another home. Whereas with the short sale, you're put on credit probation for two years. Now, one of the negatives is with a short sale, your credit will still take a hit. You know, you could expect your credit score to drop 100 to 150 points. And, you know, unfortunately, this will affect you over the next two years, but you're going to have the ability to buy a piece of real estate a couple years down the road and the foreclosure would have been a hindrance if that was the result of the sale of your property. So also one of the other uh, pros of doing a short sale is that it gives you a little bit more time to stay in the home. So basically when we meet with the seller we get a listing agreement signed and we'll send that over to the bank along with the short sale package to try to get it approved by the lender and then the lender typically will give us more time so that we can get the home sold. So now one of the negatives I want to share with you earlier is like I said that let's say for example you've got a home you paid $150 for that house and you, you got a loan on it for $125,000 when you bought it but because the market's gone down the property is only worth $100,000 and so the bank is going to take a $25,000 hit on that discrepancy between the loan balance and what it actually sells for plus the closing costs. So one of the big cons of doing this is that that loss that the bank is going to take, they could potentially file a judgment against you at the courthouse and this might be something you have to pay in the future. Now in summary, if you're thinking about doing a short sale, it's really important number one, you consult with a real estate attorney. I'm not a real estate attorney, I'm a real estate broker and I can give you my experience and my knowledge from working with consumers just like you that have been through the short sale process. It's going to be really important you sit down with a real estate expert, figure out what your financial goals, goals are and see if this is a, um, a good strategy for you to help you get your home sold so you can accomplish your goal of uh, relocating or downsizing or whatever perhaps your goal might be. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was educational and uh, don't forget check out on the top of our website here you can search homes for sale have access to the MLS just like I do. Also our free home value report at the top left hand corner where you can get a rough idea of what your home might sell for. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day.